the wisdom that peruses every activity of God the wisdom that gives God his feedback the wisdom that delights the heart of the father it is this wisdom I'm presenting we understand how the words are chosen why because we are doers of the word we are masters of the word we are poets of the word I pray to God that your ministry will not be in the outer court but you will come into the place of the very presence of God but by reason of Christ who has opened the way we have free access to God and we are not afraid therefore he said come boldly before the throne of grace that you might find grace and help even in a time of need and most of us who think that prayer is a means of just taking something taking something we have never got to the place when we understand our prayer is work when we pray we work when we pray we when we pray we form when we create we make things happen and you know what in the secrecy of this work god rewards you openly. now get set for the good word of god with pastor Obed. of it always a blessing I want to say something two things happen on the day of Pentecost that the church doesn't see I'm sorry to say it not sorry to your to your intelligence but sorry that we don't say it do you know that we have said and we have read that on the day of Pentecost when the Holy Ghost came upon them they spoke in other tongues. Hear me? Are you listening to me? They spoke in other tongues and every nativity under earth being represented had them in their own tongues. How many of you have heard that one? Yeah. But do you know that the other side have not been preached? How did Peter know? My goodness. How did Peter know? When the people were saying, how come that we hear them in our own native language? When the people could not speak Hebrew. There is a dual work taking place that when you speak Chinese, when this quint essential is upon you, my goodness, when you speak Ewe, when this quint essential is upon you, now I may not speak the Ewe, but as I stand there, I begin to understand because the quintessential is the information bank. He's not only a one way traffic, he's a double way traffic. Now, what's something? The people could not understand Hebrew. They could not speak it. But the word of God said, Peter rose up and then he preached to them. What did he preach? How did the people hear? When he actually spoke in his mother tongue. Listen, there is a place where you come to where your mother tongue is received as part of tongues. It is received and made part of tongues. Now, what am I saying? Because Peter didn't preach in other tongues. But the people heard him. You don't understand. As they were speaking, as Peter was speaking to them, they heard him and he heard them. Because when they were going through the disputings, Peter stood up and said, standing up with the eleven, he lifted up his voice and said unto them, you men of Judea, and what is, and all you that dwell at Jerusalem, be this known unto you, and hearken to my words, for these are not drunken. Remember that they were speaking their own native language, and they were saying that these are drunk. How did Peter understand? Because he had come under a certain force. This is what the Holy Ghost is for. The Holy Ghost is not for Jesse. Holy Ghost is for you to understand the enigmatic situations of life. You speak, men understand you. You may not talk their language, but they understand. They may not be talking your language, but you also understand. Lift up your right hand towards heaven for a moment. Say with me. Lord, Lord let, the let the experience of the Queen's essential order come upon me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let the seventh accent part. 
heart in my forehead. Heart in my forehead. With clothing tongues of fire. Clothing tongues of fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord. Lord. Enlighten my mind. Enlighten my mind. Enlighten my mind. Enlighten my mind. Bring me to the place. Bring me to the place. Of self-awareness. Of self-awareness. Bring me to the place. Bring me to the place. Of God consciousness. Of God consciousness. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. To be able to relate. To be able to relate. To my very environment. To my very environment. In the name of In Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, Lord. Let this experience. Let this experience. Be my reality. Be my reality. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Take your seat. Let me continue. Still continuing. The 10% and the 90%. Everybody say the 10%. I'm saying it till you get there before I get there. Tell somebody the 10%. And say it again. The 10%. When you read your Bible and you hear 10%, what goes through your mind? I remember, I remember the word of God speaks concerning Abraham that he returned from the slaughter of the kings and then he met one that had the 90% with him. The word of God said when he met Melchizedek, he understanding the reality of who this guy was taking your seat. Take your seat. Before I power preach it, and I lose some people. When you say, Mel, key, ze, deck, what are you saying? How many of you have heard of melanin? I can't hear you. Are you sure? Melatonin. How many of you have heard of melatonin? What is the meaning of male? Black. It actually means dark. I'm doing this thing quickly. Dark. Dark. It means the unseen. The word male means dark. It means the unseen. It means the invisible. Watch this. The word chai, from which we have the chai people, the chai people. From which we have the Chai people. The people who concentrate on the Chi. China. Chinese. I remember one brother was telling me when they were in JSS, just by the way, there was this guy in the class. Shang. Obama, the teacher wrote this. Akwete. What word is this? Lifted up. Said, what word is meant? He said China. <laughs> China. Do you know China? <laughs> China. <laughs> nah, China. <laughs> it's an animal. A cow. <laughs> now, so when you see China, you say China. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're saying. Anyway. Now look at this. I want to explain Melchizedek to you. Very simple. Mel, the chi is the life force. Life force. The life force. And I'm going to do two things here quickly. Zedek means order. For instance, Adonai Zedek, the order of lords. Adonai Zedek. Adonai Zedek, the order of lords. The order of lords. 
it is a reason why the word of God says, you realize anytime you, you hear Melchizedek, he said, according to the order of Melchizedek. Because Melchizedek is an order. Melchizedek is a tagma. Melchizedek is a series. Please, it's not an arithmetic series. He's beyond geometric progression. She, the life force. Now watch this. Just by watching this, if you have watched the breakdown of this word very well, the invisible order, which is a life force, or the order of the invisible life force, the order of the invisible life force, that is Melchizedek. The order of the invisible life force. Now I just want to explain to you quickly. Why is without father and without mother? Now you are saying that this guy is an order of an invisible life force. If the life force within him is invisible, how then do you trace his father and his mother? And the word of God also says, watch something, so that you agree that Melchizedek is the invisible order or the order of invisible life force. The word of God, in addition to talking about his father and his mother, also says he is without beginning of days, no end of life. Because you see, you cannot refer to Melchizedek and speak about the beginning of his life. Because watch this, this life force is not the seen life force, but is the invisible life force. The invisible life force. Without father, without mother, without descent, having neither beginning of days nor end of life. I'll treat by me like unto the Son of God later. Abided a priest continually later. Is somebody with me here? Pastor Obed, always a blessing. What is righteousness? What is iniquity and how does God handle it? Does doing good make one righteous? What makes one righteous? What does God have to say on judgment and righteousness? These and many more are the nagging questions on the heart of every man that are answered in this new faith revolutionizing book, Decrypting Righteousness, God's Canon for Man. In this classic expose, the man of God, Pastor Obed brings with clarity and deep insights the whole counsel of God on the subject of righteousness as presented by the scriptures. In this book, you will come to a complete understanding of God's canon of righteousness and his plan and purpose for all his creation, both in this age and in the ages to come. Grab your copy now from the CCI bookshops in Accra and Kumase or contact our international headquarters. You can also place an order on www.christcosmopolitan.org. Shalom. But so much the more went there a fame abroad of him, and great multitudes came together to hear and to be healed by him of their infirmities. Luke 5 verse 15. Experience the life-changing power of God to be healed and to be transformed in an atmosphere of divine presence. Are you oppressed spiritually? Are you in need of healing in your body? Do you need a breakthrough or divine intervention in any aspect of your life? Get a ticket on Saturday at 5 p.m. at the watershed to be ministered to on Sunday by the man of God, Pastor Obed. Locate the watershed in the Dizengov building near all services at Asafu, Dadiasuaba, Kumazi. For more information on the CCI in the Miracle Line, call our international office. Shalom. Always.
is a blessing. Now watch this. Watch this. The word Z. 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 Everybody say Z. Now, the word Z in general terms is the 26th alphabet in our English language. Is everybody with me here? All right. Now, what's something here? What's something here? If you remember when I did the DNA, I did a calculation of the letter 26. When I did the 22 alphabet and then the four others. Okay. Now, watch here. This Z here also is what is referred to as in science as the atomic number. It is also referred to as the impedance. It is also referred to as resistance. It is also referred to as ohms. Again, this word she in China and with the eastiness, they refer to as the life force. It is also, now watch the reason why. The reason why you want to begin to agree with them is that this she is the 22nd alphabet in Greek. The 22nd alphabet in Greek is she. From Alpha, the 22nd letter is Chi, 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 or Chi. And then Omega is the 26th. Now, watch this. So now, this 22nd alphabet, as soon as you hear 22, what comes into your mind with the topic we are dealing with? The 22 chromosomes. And as soon as you settle with the 22 chromosomes, you are actually dealing with the life force. The 22 chromosomes also speaks concerning the chi. But can I talk to you? Are you sure? You are ready for this? Okay. If chi, everybody watch here. If chi, is the 22 chromosomes. Is somebody getting ready for here? Look at what will change and cause a shift in your DNA. And we are talking about the male. What is male? The unknown. The invisible chromosomes. My goodness. Oh. The invisible DNA. Now, if you have been following all that we have been doing in Awakening the divine impulse and in activating the DNA. Now, that unknown DNA, the invisible DNA, what is the name? The junk. So now, Melchizedek is actually an introduction of the quintessential. What this? What this? What this? What is a quintessential? The quintessential is the fifth order that acts upon air, water, earth, and fire. And ensures that it elevates all the objects of that experience to a realm to understand all the lower dimensions at a point in time. The quintessential was the experience of John on the island of Patmos. The Bible said, as he was on the island, he heard the voices of things in heaven and of things on earth and of things under the earth. He heard all things. What does he mean? He was brought into an experience of great enlightenment that he could so hear from the unseen realm of matter and from the seen realm of matter. He was hearing from the 90% and was hearing from the 10%. Is somebody following me here? Now watch something. Watch this. Watch this. 
the Melchi or the Melchi speaks of the unknown chromosomes. If this refers to the unknown chromosomes, and Zedek, what's here, is an order, then it also means that Melchizedek also refers to the order of men who manifest the unknown chromosomes. It speaks of the order. And this order is referred to as a priesthood. And this priesthood, the Bible refers to Jesus as not having a genealogy according to the lineage of Levi. But he came in his own genes. His genes could not be related to what was here. So he said, men on earth carrying the genes of Levi, they took the 10% here by he he receives the 10 percent day now what is there there is the realm called there there is a realm called the unknown no wonder watch this the bible said abraham he returned from the slaughter of kings he returned from conquering the present realm of kings when he returned from the slaughter of kings, what what he did? He met Melchizedek and he gave him 10%. He gave him 10%. He gave him a tithe. He gave him a tithe. Do you know what? Actually, God, the reason why he says you should bring the tithe. And then he said, all oh, the tithe belongs to me. Actually, those who withhold the tithe, they don't know. 90% that you think is yours is actually not yours. Because the 90%, watch this, is the unknown realm. is the invisible realm. What is God saying? The 10% which is known to you. The 10% calculations. And the 10% Pythagoras that you did at your workplace. The 10% marketing strategy that you used to bring in. The 10% advertisement process. The 10% accounting system. The 10% implementation order that you used to get everything in. God is saying that there is 90% invisible realm. If you like it, you can keep the 90% which in invisible in the realm where I dwell and you can decide that you are giving me the 10% so that I can move from the invisible realm of 90% and invade your 10% realm of visibility and put things together for you when we speak of the time it is being smart with God it is understanding that only 10% is mine and yet I am willing to say it belongs to God. Take your seat for a moment. Why do you give tithes? We'll go into the meditations right now. Why everybody should do meditation. And if you don't do meditation, you don't know what you're doing. Now watch this. I take it again. Known matter is 10%. Unknown is 90%. And in your Bible, right from Genesis, the first time the word priest appeared was Melchizedek. First time the word priest appeared was Melchizedek. Do you know who a priest is? A priest. Hey. The Bible said a priest is chosen from among men. A priest. He is chosen from among men. He said this honor taken no man unto himself. A priest. He is picked out from among men. A priest is not a man. A priest. There are men and he is chosen from among men. He is handpicked to stand out from among men. And no man take care this honor unto himself, but he that is called of God as was Aaron. Priest is chosen from amongst men. Now watch what a priest does. A priest is an intermediary. 
a priest. He is the link between the visible and the invisible realm. A priest understands the dealings of the invisible realm and a priest understands the dealings of the visible realm. Who is a priest? A priest is one that stands to bridge the invisible and the visible realm. He said, for every high priest taken from among men is ordained for men in things pertaining to God. Message, 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 message. Every high priest selected to represent men and women before God and offer sacrifices for their sins. Every high priest is selected to represent men and women before God. So that simply means that a priest, this time around, in talking about the high priest, along with his company of priests, they are there to represent men to God and God to men. They are actually a link. They are actually a bridge between God and men. Now, if you understand that, God now says, a tithe belongs to me. You don't understand that. Listen. The 90% is already with him. It's called investment. And God is saying, the 10% that you have is still mine. Why? All things are mine. Do you know that when you keep 90%, you actually keep zero? When you have Whenever you receive. Now, these are keys to divine wealth. And in response, and probably this Sunday or next week Thursday, I'll be talking about giving and how to use giving to activate the DNA. Now, watch this. He said, the tithe belongs to me. Because already the 90% is already his. And no one, he has it. Do you know what God actually is saying? You are the one that physically thinks you have 90%. But God says, give me the tithe that I may show you how to rule in the invisible realm. Do you know what? 90% is an exchange. Pastor, come. Pastor Philo, come. Pastor Brenda, stand here. Watch this. Pastor Brenda, stand here. No, 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 no. Face pastor. Stand here. Face pastor. Watch this. Come here. This is Pastor Philo. Visible realm. This is Pastor Reginald, invisible realm. This is Pastor Brenda. He has money. God says, 90% is called invisible. 10% is called visible. But where is the legality? When you bring God 10%, you're actually telling God, God, come into the visible realm. So that I may live in the invisible realm. Pastor Obed, always a blessing. I am excited that you made time to listen to the good word of God. I want you to put in the extra work of coming to our church. You know what I want you to do? Just when you arrive, let the ushers know that you came on my personal invite and they will bring you to me. I'll be excited to shake hands with you, to talk with you, and to pray for you. And I'd like for you to know it's a promise I'm making to you. Come and let us experience it for real at the watershed. God bless you as you make time to come. And remember, faith coming. I hear it.